Erica, we talked about LinkedIn in the previous video, and we know that recruiters will at first will go to LinkedIn to see who this person is, see more information, get familiarized with it. So what tips you have in terms of LinkedIn profile and how can job seekers make the best of it? Sure, LinkedIn is probably the first stop when they're researching you online, whether you've applied, submitted a resume, or you've engaged in networking or career conversations. Uh, it will probably be the first hit. You want to make sure that your profile is fully populated, fill out every section as fully as you possibly can, include a current picture, have a well-branded headline, not just title at company, right? Brands showcase what your value is and what you're offering to the organization. Um, make sure you've fully filled out the skills section. I believe you can have up to 50 skills. Mm -hmm. So even if you're adding technical competencies or soft skills, take advantage of the opportunity to land some hits within the algorithm. The voice of LinkedIn is distinctively different than many other pieces of clear career collateral in that it's written in first person. You would specifically say, I, me, my, we, um, us, you know, if you're talking about a yes. team, because it's meant to be conversational and yes. it's meant to invite connections and messages. So make sure we're using that distinct tone. Yes. I would also lastly suggest people take advantage of the media and featured sections. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, especially for highly niche roles, this is where recruiters or headhunters will find ideal candidates based on whether it's a PowerPoint that you've included, a very specific piece from your portfolio, and they'll decide ahead of time, I just really need to talk to this person. Yeah, and I also feel that the cover picture is also a great resource to tell about your values, your personal brand, and you can use Canva and you can put more information, Not and don't use just generic pictures, right? Absolutely. That banner is prime real estate. It's a, it's a branding opportunity mm -hmm. right behind your head. Yeah. Um, and you want to avoid if there are any default options and get as creative as you want and make sure it's aligned with your field. Yeah. And we know that LinkedIn is a living, breathing document. They, they can change. They don't have to be the same for the next last 10 years, right? Right. Absolutely. And if you are trying out a headline for a little while and you decide, hmm, I'm not getting as much interest with this one, I'm going to swap out some of the keywords. I'm going to put really personal phrasing in hopes that someone will reach out and connect with me. Go ahead, flip it out for a few weeks. See how that does. If you don't like it, flip it again. You're right. It's a living document. It's meant to be tested and adapted as you're going through your job search and your career. Thank you for those great tips, Erica. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Erica.